Same old. Nothing, not a whole lot to say different. Guys played hard. Guys generate offense. We didn't give up much. Um, and uh, Bemidji deserved to win. That, you know, they deserve to win. This is this is happening too often now to say that it's, uh, you know, we, we deserve the game. We deserve it. Uh, Bemidji deserved to win regardless of if they get two shots and score two goals or they get uh, five scoring chances and score two goals and we get 30. It doesn't matter. Um, they scored when they had to score and, and we didn't. So um, they deserve to win the game and uh, we got to keep working at uh, finding ways to put some pucks in the net because bottom line is that's what, that's what matters. Is it more of like a, just a momentum thing, just uh, dealing with bad bounces, or is there, any, is there any difference with the way the team is playing right now versus the winning streak you guys had? We're playing different teams, and we're playing against teams that defend. That, that's the difference. You know, we, we're we 1-1 with Huntsville in the third period twice. We're 1-1 with Ferris a few times, and 2-1 another game. We're, they're tight games, and then we get some goals late. We're able to do do that, same, but, we're, but we're, we're, we're dominating all those games. Um, but they're still good games. And Northern Michigan gets 29 shots last Sunday or whatever it was against Huntsville and scores eight. So um, we're not doing anything different. We're, we're playing good hockey. We're playing good hockey. We can't, we can't score. We don't, have, we don't have the ability to score. And, you know, you can't, you, you can't criticize players. You can't, I mean, we are what we are. We're playing good hockey. We're, we're dominating flow. Teams are, 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 are preparing for us and trying to, trying to defend, knowing it's difficult for us to score, and trying to hope that they can get one or two goals. And, uh, you know, we went to Lake State earlier in the year, scored one goal in two games. We played Lake State here uh, Tuesday, scored one goal. We played these guys twice. Those are all good defending teams with good goaltending, and we scored one goal. So, um, you know, four goals in what, five games, or four, five goals in six games, whatever it is. And, you know, it's guys are working, creating offense, doing everything you can do. I wouldn't change a, a thing. What do you change? You, you guys tell me, what do you change? What do you do to create more scoring chances, more offense? How much do you want to dominate the play and create it? I mean, I don't know what to tell you. So, Yeah, I mean, with a quick turnaround, how, how is it, uh, I mean, how do you guys get out of the rut? Is it um, just, uh, I mean, if you guys don't really have a chance to practice with a quick turnaround before the game on Tuesday, I mean, how do you, how do you guys go about changing this? What we're trying, we're getting shots from right in front of the goalie. We're getting breakaways. We're getting one timers that we can't hit. We're doing we're doing everything we can do. Um, we're doing everything we can do with guys that are working very hard. I, I can't ask more of the players than they're doing. If if you you know if we're getting out coached, we're getting out coached, and I don't have uh, I don't know how to put a how to tell a guy to put a puck in in a net. I don't. I mean, no one knows how to do that. Guys score. Guys don't score. I mean, I don't I don't know what to tell you. We're, we're, if we're getting out shot, if we're getting outplayed, and that may happen down the road, if we're getting dominated, if we're getting giving up, if our penalty kill can't stop them, if our, you know, our power play scored tonight, I mean, you know, we're second in the league in a penalty kill. Our power play is, I think, third in the league. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to you. What are you going to do different? I don't. We don't have the answers to do anything different. Guys are getting shots from all of our lines. We're getting contributions from all of our lines. We can't score. I mean, it's been a, a thing around. It's been a thing for a while. You know, another team gets doesn't need as much to score. If you look last night, their top scorer had seven goals going into the game in like what 13 games and scored two last night. So he has nine and 14 games. Their top guy scored. Mm -hmm. Our top guys don't. If if Crosby doesn't score and Malkin doesn't score, Pittsburgh isn't winning. You know what I mean? I I don't know what. I mean, I, I'm not, and our guys are working hard. So blame it on the coaching. It's the coaching because all we can do is is get us in a position where we're dominating games, and and we're doing that. And I don't have the answers of how to score more. We do skill drills, extra skill sessions. I don't have I don't have an answer for you on that. It's there's there's no simple answer. The Red Wings would like to score more too. You know what I mean? They're they're out playing. They out shooting out shot Chicago twice last weekend. They'd like to score more too, and. Uh, and then if you ask them, well, what are you going to do to win these games? We'd like to score more. We're not giving up a lot of goals. Well, what are you going to do to do that? I don't know. We're going to work on scoring more. We're going to work in practice on guys having to go through traffic and attack one-on-ones. They're going to do the same things that they're always doing. Comes with maturity and ability and sometimes recruiting. 
sometimes it's, you know, we got Tristan Ashbrook here. He scores, you know, and the goalie had to make two great saves on him tonight on the two chances he got. You know, guys score, guys don't. Some guys write good stories, some guys don't. You know, some guys are editors, some guys clean the floors. I, I, you know, some guys build pianos, some guys play them. Be great if we had a guy that built a great piano and played it. You know, they're working as hard as they can. Um, Joe, I wanted to ask you about uh, Mosley. Um, he has some chances, uh, speaking of scoring chances, he had a nice uh, rebound chance in the first period. It just uh, seemed like he's really developing. I just want to talk about his game. He's, he's a good player. Um, didn't get to play in the first half of the year at all, so everything we're getting out of him is good. We think he tired a little bit. Um, we had him watch a game. We'll watch this one. We have some really, we have some, there's a lot of guys in, that offer the same thing to us. You know, tonight we sat out Logan Piedla because he hasn't been creating a whole lot of offense for us, offensive opportunities. And we have other guys that can, that can you know, defend and play with energy and maybe maybe win a few more battles. So we made that change. Um, Richards wins back. We have a lot of guys, four or five guys that we want to keep alive that are in, the, in kind of the same boat as Ryland is. Um, that we want to see, you know, a part of this, like I said, is development. Part of this is guys getting better, and uh, and and seeing what they do. Ryland has a has a history of creating offense in junior hockey. It's going to take him time to adjust. Tristan Ashbrook always has had a a, a, a uh, scoring repertory. Scored nine nine goals and had like three assists last year in RPI. He's as a freshman. He's always been able to score. We don't have anybody else on our team that's a that's a prolific. Score. Um, Ryland is more of a playmaker type of a guy, um, but he can get the puck to guys in areas. So he, he's developing well, but he's going to still be a guy that's going to be in and out a little bit at, because we have some other players that want to keep alive as well. Yeah, going back to, you know, we've talked before about Jamie Phillips helping the team and everything. Have you guys, have the players been able to kind of tap into his experience being a professional hockey player just with? Uh, just with a quick turnaround, uh, just getting mentally and physically ready within a shorter period. Oh, I don't know. We have we have quite a few guys that have played pro hockey with us. Um, so uh, I don't I don't no I I don't know the answer to that. Um, I don't think they're asking Jamie explicitly. Um, I think we're running it right now that way. I think we have energy. We're playing we're playing well. You know, Bemidji didn't play on Tuesday. We did, and we still had a, a good weekend as far as territorial play against them. So. I don't. I don't think they're asking that. We're talking as a staff as to how to manage the players, and they're just they're doing what they're asked to do. But that's a good point. I'll 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 offer that to Jamie and ask him if he wants to spend a little time with the guys and talk to them about that. Um, I just have a quick question about the personnel. Um, again, um, as you mentioned with the interview with Dirk Datum was slotted in today. Um, he ate up a lot of the time that was usually spent by Buckley. Do you see him taking a role in your in your top 6D now? I liked him. Or you I liked him. He had maybe three scoring chances in the game. He made some really nice recovery plays where his partner was caught up ice a little bit and was able to track guys down. Um, his puck touches were clean. Um, I liked him. I, I wasn't real happy with the first goal that we gave up today, so I'm glad we had him dressed um, because that gave him, you know, I kind of told Dallas, ride him, let him, let the kid play because, um, you know, the one thing that we can do is when, when an athlete has similar things over and over again that you're really trying to work on, um, when, you're, when, you, when you're having trouble putting the puck in the net, everything's magnified. And the guys grip the sticks a little bit tighter, and we're trying to keep them as loose as possible and not put pressure on them. I mean, it, they're playing hard. They're, you know, wh whatever natural ability that they may have is, hard, is, you know, is tight right now because we, we're, we're playing really well in the first, we're getting scoring chances, and then they come down with their, their only chance of the period and they score uh, on the rush. So we're down one nothing, and then it's here we go again. So we're trying to make sure that we stay, stay positive with the guys and, and just let them know that, hey, this is part of the development process you got to go through hard times to, to, to appreciate the good times. And right now, every little thing is magnified. Um, every mistake is, is magnified. You know, the, the, both goals tonight were, were the, the direct respo responses, um, results of individuals who have done, who we've been really working on the, the specific breakdown that we had, um, whether it be angling or whether it be allowing a guy inside, 
whereas we just, we did that stuff over and over tonight to the opposition, but it, it doesn't. It's it's they're 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 able to play through some mistakes, um, but they cost us, and and they're magnified. So that that's the pressure on the guys to and on all of us to make decisions to try to um, over history and over time play the players that that have developed the best and have eliminated the most weaknesses in their game so that that doesn't hurt us during critical times and in the long run that'll make us a better a better team and make the program better down the road